Hey everyone, we're here at the 3D Print Show California talking to an artist named Ryan Bison. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you guys. And he's the creator of this wonderful moving art behind us that you see. So tell us about how this came about. Um, many years of obsession of over movement, um, animal movement, and I've been a love flight since I was a child. So um, kind of had a couple aha moments while studying the movement of birds and um, related it back to a mechanism and um, made the bird's wing pivot and rotate as it flapped and then I figured out how to make the wing bend and break throughout the flapping motion. So has your art always been with 3D printing involved in it or did it start in a different material before? Um, I did a lot of hand work and I've um, learned to 3D model and um, usually I'll put my, my work as a paper printout then I would cut the pieces out. Um, and then I gained access to laser cutting and 3D printing. And uh, 3D printing is now a huge part of my work. Um, it saves a lot of time. And it can do it better than I can. Um, and it's a means to an end for a lot of parts. So you can create more art. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But I still like to have the hand in there. So to, to play both off the, each other is really important to me. What kind of 3D printer did you use for the mechanism part in here? These are laser centered. Um, uh, I send them out to Shapeways and have the, the parts printed out of uh, nylon, laser centered. Um, I dye them to be the colors that I want. And oh, you dye, <laughs> dye them. them. Yeah. Ah, yeah, colors are our biggest <laughs> issue with yeah. 3D printing. So. What kind of dye are you using? Is it textile dye? Rit dye. Rit dye. Rit dye. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> A little bit of vinegar, oil it. <laughs> works really well. That's great, great. Yeah, it's good to know because we always want to get better color. Yeah. So um, you have a regular printer, a regular FFF, or you always use outsource? Uh, no, I don't. I, I have a couple printers myself. I have a Form 1 and uh, a Buccaneer. Um, and I've used Dimensions and Mbots and all sorts of other printers at my work. Experimenting as always. Well, yeah. uh, do you show these in galleries or what do you, you know? Yeah, I've shown in a few galleries. I've showed a lot more in academia. I'm sending them out to different calls for entries and um, um, exhibits that are uh, museum or academic based. So these are motion activated it seems. Uh, proximity. Yeah. Proximity. They're mm -hmm. flying behind us because we're standing in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> There's one static over there. I found it when you walk up to it and it starts up. It's really actually kind of exciting to see the, the shadow move all of a sudden. Like that's the, I, I don't know, it's big even part more of it. exciting than it moving. Yeah, thanks. It's a big part of it for me. I like it when it's lit in uh, high key lighting uh, to make that shadow on the wall. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, it's really important. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks for, so much for talking to us. We're always interested to see what artists are able to do with 3D printing because you have much more vision than some of oh, the thanks. you know engineers and tinkerers that have started it. They have a plan for what they want to make, but you have a bigger, broader you know goal. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank very you again. Enjoyable. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks very much. Thanks.